love you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm deja Hello. um since i told my last story i'm gonna just open this because i want some candy you know i don't really eat candy like that but i'm craving it i think i might have a cavity that shit hurt <laughs> At this grown age. I was gonna hold off on telling the story for a while, but like my DMs on Instagram flooded with you guys. Just telling me that you wanna hear it, talking about my last story, about me like astral projecting or whatever. I'm just telling you guys this story. I was gonna wait for a little while, but like, why not? I mean, I have read all of you guys' comments over on my last video. I'm taking everything in and mostly everyone's saying like, okay, yeah, I'm not crazy. Thank you so much. And then like, um, other half is like, oh, look into God, stuff like that. So yeah, so thanks for that. Thanks for acknowledging the fact that I'm not crazy. I really appreciate it. Today's video is just going to be another one of those like, oh my God, bitch, are you crazy? Time of videos, you know? Plug me into your AirPods um, while you're cleaning, cooking, watching your kids. Don't want to listen to them kids, cause fuck them kids. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna get right on into it. This happened to me a good like year and a half, two years ago. This is one of the first times that I've ever experienced a panic attack and like, I literally thought I was dying. Like I couldn't breathe. My throat felt like it was closing. My chest was so freaking tight. My heart was beating so hard. I was like, yeah, this is what a heart attack feels like. But like now I know it's a panic attack, you know? Like I still get them to this day. So the reason that I say I died in my sleep is because I really believe that I did. Like I said in my previous video, how I heard about this story of this girl experiencing the same thing I did when she flatlined. But anyways, listen to the story. So I've always lived with somebody, but this was gonna be the first time that I lived in my own place by myself. So one, I was already scared of living by myself because I don't know why, but I'm such a paranoid person that I'm like, if I die, like, no one's gonna know. Like, you know, I don't have people who consistently check up on me every day, which like, y'all are fake for that because I do got a little bit of friends. I remember that Layden had just went to his dad's house and I was there by myself and I was sleeping, right? And I was just dreaming having this great old dream. And then all of a sudden, I remember in my dream that like, well, okay, look, I was with my aunt and her daughter. And it's really weird because I never had a dream of these people. And then they're like on my dad's side, so I really only see them like around the holidays and stuff. So I don't know why they were in my dream, but it's not abnormal because they're family or whatever. But they was in my dream. So it was my aunt and her daughter. Um, Backstory, like my aunt and her um, daughter's dad, which was her ex-husband, aren't together anymore. Um, so in the dream they weren't together either so I'm having this regular old dream I'm at their house and it's weird because my cousin is like a baby at the time which she wasn't a baby in real life but it was just younger version of her in my dream why I don't know just sleep having this dream right dreams just going on and on um, I don't really know every detail but I'm gonna just tell you the thing that I remember in the dream we were running away from her my cousin's dad so like her mom just kept telling me like make sure i keep the baby safe like don't let him get the baby blah 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 blah, blah. so we're running away from him it's just really weird like the dream was really weird and i just remember in that moment i was like am i dreaming to myself right and it was, it was getting a little scary because he pulled out a little black blocker was trying to like get us you know so I was running away, trying to keep the little baby safe. And then he ends up, the, my auntie, and I'm just like, oh my God. And then like, he just stares dead at me. Like, like he's in front of me, but like in the doorway. And like, it's like this long hallway and I'm holding the baby. And like, I'm just looking at him, watching him, my auntie. And I'm like, oh my God. And then he looks at me and was like, so pro prepare prepare so prepared to just end my whole life you know so i'm like holy sh and then i wake up wake up i wake up and i'm in my room and i'm like oh my god but then i look over and i see this baby and i'm like is Lena with me so i look at the baby and i like go towards the baby and i realize that it's my little cousin so i'm like 
what the hell? But I'm in my room, like that I lived in in real life. So I'm in my room, in my bed. I'm sitting up like this and I look over and I'm like, this is weird because I knew for a fact Layden went to his dad's yesterday. I said it's my cousin. So we're like, she's sleeping. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm just sitting there like talking to myself like, damn, like that dream was scary. But then I'm like, am I in a dream like it just felt so weird like i didn't know if i was dreaming if i'm awake but like the thoughts that i'm having i feel like i'm awake so i wasn't sure what the hell was going on because like it felt so real so i'm sitting there or whatever and i'm like okay i just knew that i have to keep this baby safe like i have to keep this baby safe and i don't know if i'm still dreaming but i just know that that dream that i was having was crazy and now something in my soul is telling me just to keep this baby safe so i'm sitting there sitting up in my bed right you guys out of nowhere it's like four samurai men bust through my door right okay let's I knew I was dreaming, but I felt like I was awake. My door flies open and it's like three sam like old samurai men. Like, you know, the ones that you be seeing in the movie where they're like head to toe in their little armor, but it's like old Asian people. Old ass samurai men fly open the door. And then my soul was like, you need to protect this baby. So I like put my hands like this out, like over her. And it's like three in the front. They're like kind of big, but kind of little, but they're just in like full armor. They got their swords or whatever. And then it's like everything behind them is super black. It's weird to describe it, but it's like all I seen at that moment was just these three samurai people. And then like they open apart like this. And then there's like this one little samurai man that comes forward and just stares me in my soul. And I'm like, Oh yeah, that's a dream. Like this, and then in my head, I'm like, this dream is getting crazy. Like I don't know what's about to happen, but this shit low key lit. I'm like leaning over, like oh my god, this dream is just getting weird. And I like I knew, I felt like I was awake and like this shit was really happening. But then like I knew it couldn't been happening, so I'm like, oh, this a dream. Like this dream is lit, y'all. And then they open apart. Hello. Wow. I know people just think I'm weird sitting here, but like, you ain't gotta stare into my house and no, I'm not gonna close my blinds because I need the light. I got a part like this and the little samurai dude comes out. I go like this because the energy that this little man had was crazy. It was so crazy. It like just demanded all your attention. His energy, like he, this, first of all, they all didn't say nothing, but he didn't have to say a word. And he just looked like he walked in and de stared at me dead in my soul. And it's like, we were talking telepathically. Like we was talking like that. The energy was just like, I told you to protect this little girl. And now we're here. And now it's on you. Just sitting up in my bed, in my real life fucking bed. So I'm sitting there, this man, first of all, let me describe how my room was set up. My door's right here, my bed's right here. So I'm sitting over here. It's kind of like a distance, right? So I'm sitting up and I'm looking at him. This man pulls out his samurai sword and just like he didn't move. He didn't walk closer to me. The sword was so long, you guys, that he went like this really fast, but like slow motion, but like super fast, sliced my whole neck. And I know y'all probably like, okay, girl, like it's a dream, but listen to me. He sliced my whole neck. And when I tell y'all, when this man sliced my neck, I instantly grabbed on and was like, holy sh, you need to wake up before you actually die in this dream. You need to wake up. I'm only saying that because I remember when I was younger, my great grandmother used to tell us like, if you're, if you die in your dream, you die in real life. Like, you know those dreams where like you're falling off the cliff. She used to always tell us like, make sure you wake up before you hit the bottom. Because if you die in your dream, you're gonna die in real life. So when he sliced me, when he sliced me, my, I went like this and I was like, ooh, Deja, wake up. Cause that felt a little too real. Like it doesn't feel like a dream anymore. Wake up. And like, I couldn't wake up and I'm like, holy sh like this hurt so bad to the point where like, 
this doesn't feel like a dream because this is hurting blood's flying out then it's like getting harder and harder for me to breathe like i low-key feel like i'm drowning i'm still i'm holding my neck because in my dream or whatever i was holding my neck so like you know i wouldn't die that fast like blood's just flying and i'm like holy sh this hurts he first did it i just thought that was going to be the end of the dream like you know like and i wake up like <gasps> you know in movies everything that's running through my mind okay when he sliced me i was like holy shit i'm about to have a heart attack and i'm gonna die in my sleep because like i can't wake myself up and this doesn't feel like a dream anymore and this shit really hurts like i felt like i i really felt how it would feel if i got my sli my neck sliced open so i'm like oh my god deja what <laughs> i couldn't wake up everything just started to like fade like i was like passing out dying basically like all the blood i was losing it was just like, like, right? So this is the part where I knew that I died, okay? It just like starts fading and then it just goes dark, pitch black. But for some reason, I knew that I was just in like a big room. Like, I knew it had four walls, but I couldn't see it. Like, I don't know, that's just the feeling, the energy I was getting. It was like super small in this big ass room, but it's pitch black. I'm just standing there and I'm like looking around and I'm like, holy shit, this is really bad. And then I'm like, oh my god. Like I just got this like realization of like, you just died, bro. So I'm like sitting here in this room just looking around like, oh my god, is this? Or like, I have to wait until God comes and like determines if I'm going to heaven or hell. I wasn't scared. I was just more so in disbelief that I'm here right now and I really just died in this dream and I'm just sitting there like, bro, it felt so real. Like, wow, this is why I'm here because like this really happened. So I'm sitting in what I feel like it's a big ass room. I'm like, whoa, like this is weird. Like I didn't know what was going on. And when I'm this person standing here like, just feeling so little in this room that's so big and so empty. I get this sense of, you just need to wait your turn, right? And I'm just waiting and I'm just looking around. I don't see anybody and I don't hear anybody, but I have this sense of very manly masculine energy. That energy was like energy of everything type of thing. Like that's what I felt like. This, this energy that I'm feeling, I knew it was masculine and I just knew like, it was like the energy of everything. And I was just like, mm. I felt safe, honestly. It's like talking to me, but not out loud. Just how like the little samurai thing was going on. It's like talking to me, but not out loud. And it's just like, you need to hold on and wait your turn. Like I'm coming to you. Kind of like I was in a doctor's office. Like I'll be right with you. And I was just standing there and I was looking around and I was just like, oh my God, like I haven't done this, this and that. Like I'm really about to leave my kid. Like all the like the things that went on in my life, like all the things I have not said to anyone all of the things that like i thought i didn't regret but regret like regret it like just everything was in my mind am i gonna make it to heaven that's honestly what i was thinking and i was like i know i'm not a bad person shit that i've done in my life some shit is bad but like i know i'm not a bad person and god knows that's not me realistically like that's not my soul holy shit like i just died i start walking i don't know what i'm walking to but i start walking and as i'm starting to walk it's starting to get a little brighter right but that's how i knew i was in a room before i even knew i was in a room i felt like i was in a room when i was in the dark i start walking towards where this masculine energy was coming from and the room starts lighting up i realize that I'm in this white room by myself, right? There's a door up at the top. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure if it was a door or a window, but it's just something up there that this masculine energy came out of, right? Me, my little self, sitting there just looking around like, oh my God, when God walks in here, I swear I'm gonna ask him every question that I've been wanting to ask him in my whole entire life. Like, how did you do all of this? How did you make all of this? As all this is happening, 
um, as the room is getting brighter. I don't know if it was a window or a door, but I was walking towards it. I don't know how I was gonna get up there because it wasn't like no stairs or nothing. It was just this white room and like this little tiny thing up there. So I don't know how I was gonna get up there, but I was walking towards it. And my point of view, like my outer body point of view, which I'm saying is my soul, because that's what I felt like. My soul's up there looking at me do this and I was just like, this is not right. Not right now. Like that's what I said to myself. I was like, this is not right, not right now. And I pop up out of my sleep and I sleep with my phone next to me on my dresser but I have this really bad habit like I'm not trying to be sneaky or nothing I have this really bad habit of I put my phone down like face down so I always have my phone on the side of my dresser plugged in for the night face down when I popped up out of this after I said this is not right like no I literally pop up I look over my phone is sitting on my dresser glowing and it's 4 44 a.m. in the morning I don't know if you watched my previous story about astral projecting but I said in there like I hinted on why I wanted to tell this story so I would try to find the girl's TikTok, and it shocked me that like she had the same experience that I did when she literally flatlined and it was in a coma, I don't know if she said a couple months or like a couple weeks, but she was in a coma for some time. Before she ended up in a coma, she literally had this experience. And I'm like, it's just so crazy that like, someone who flatlined had the same experiences as me and I never even heard, like I heard her story a year after this whole thing happened. And it was just really crazy. Like it was really crazy to me. I honestly felt like I had in that moment, I've died. Ah! Oh, I was so prepared and so ready. And the feeling that I had when I first ended up in the darkness was, oh, bitch, you just really died. Like, that's really what I said to myself. <laughs> like, that's really the feeling that I had was like, damn, bro. Like, damn, you just went out like that. I wasn't scared. I, I, I felt safe. But it was just weird because I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, my God. Bro, how do you just let yourself die like this? So when I woke up, like I said, I literally seen 444. And ever since then, like that's why I got this necklace of 444 and 222 because I literally always see the angel numbers fours and twos and threes. Like there's nothing else, but mostly fours. Like I always see fours. So that's why I got it and I just took it as a sign. Like every time I see fours, like I instantly just relax. And my spirit guy is just telling me like, chill like we're looking out for you type of thing but yeah after i had that dream um ooh. <gasps> there's no way in hell that's happening because i turned the eyes off that scared me after i had that dream um i was able to lucid dream i don't really know what these dreams are symbolizing or like what my angels or even god just trying to tell me but like i don't know I don't know y'all I really don't know I don't know what to get out of that but that is just the story of um you know the time I felt like I died in my dream and like I don't think it was just a dream I think it actually happened to me and I think it was for me to like awaken spiritually so yeah that's the story um if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you have any like similarities or if you experience anything or if you just have crazy dreams um tell me down below try to summarize it so i can read them it's very interesting to me um but yeah i hope you guys had a good day having a good day or had a good day um and on that note I bye